Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ, Bless Deacon Abiel here. We are here in Kumasi, Ghana, and I am completely blown away. As you can see behind me, we have the new school. It's in construction, it's being built from the ground up. Everybody's putting their brick in, y'all. It's your turn. You guys out there in all the countries watching, you've been the key to this taking place. Without your donations and your help, we wouldn't be where we're at now. You understand? The Lord says, as you know in Ezekiel, build sanctuaries. This is the first of many Lord's will that we're building. Put your brick in. We need your donations. We need your help. As you all see, this right here is fulfillment of prophecy. The scripture says that this gospel of the kingdom is going to be preached unto the whole world as a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. What you see right here is fulfillment of prophecy. Put your brick in, twiddle your thumbs. Those of you all that's not here, ain't boots on the ground, you have a way to help. What, what, where's your father from? What, what, what tribe? What tribe? Yoruba, yeah? Did you ever hear about the Yoruba being the children of Israel? I don't watch that stuff. You don't know about this stuff? Why not? Why not? No, I don't watch that stuff. This is history, though. This is history. Yeah, but it's not complicated. It's not complicated. Do you know why it's complicated? Do you know why? Do you know why our people think it's complicated now? Because we haven't been taught it over these years. Do you understand? And, and the people that's been teaching us, give me Psalms 1 verse 10 real quick. I'm going to show you something. Don't, don't run quick. Don't run quick. Let me just show you something because this is some key parts of history that we have never been taught. On this side is what the Bible calls us, right? On this side is what the nations have called us during slavery, all right? The people of Nigeria prominently come from the tribe of Judah. Obviously, Christ, the black Messiah, also comes from Judah. What? Have you ever, sing it. Bro, yeah, the best you can Yeah. We're getting it right from here. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you it. Because the brother said, he hears it a lot. This is, this is, hold on, hold on, bro. This is the, this is, we're gonna, we're gonna read it. And it's on the fly, isn't it? A lot of things we're gonna read is on that fly as well. So this is the King James Version Bible, right? Give me Psalms 1 and verse 10. This is why a lot of these things are confusing that like you was mentioning earlier, read. The book of Psalms 111 verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. But those that have been taught in us from old have not been keeping the commandments. Mm -hmm. right. So we have not been given an understanding, a good understanding of these things. That's why it feels complicated to us. Right. But guess what? Remember I said, probably the people of Nigeria are from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Good. So let me show you the identity because Judah comes from the word Jew. Right. When you look at um, amongst the seven sisters, Stanford Hill, and you think about the Jews, right? What 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 race do you boy? What, what race comes into your mind when you think about the Jews? Okay, so when, when we when we when we identify in the world, when we talk about the Jews, what does the world identify the Jews as? What race? I understand that, but in the world, see, in this land, up the block, down the block, the Jews are what? White people, right? Right, that's who they say the Jews are. But guess what? I'm telling you, the, the blacks in Niger the Nigerians are the Jews. That's what I'm saying, right? And you said, you know, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. You said, oh, where did I get the evidence, right? You want to you hear? Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. We're going to show you real quick. Jeremiah 14 and verse 2. And guess what? The nations hid this history from us and labeled us these different names Nigerian, Jamaican, West Indians. Right. To show that hatred that they have towards us. Right. Do you understand? Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Read up. Judah, mourning. The Bible says Judah is mourning. The tribe of Judah. Judah. The Jews are mourning. Come on. And the gates thereof languish. The gates is referring to the leaders. That's who was always at the gates. The judges and the officers. Come on. They are black. What color are the Jews in the Bible? They are black. So what do we have in Stanford Hill then? Imposters, liars. Yes. Give me that in Revelation 2 and 9. Yeah. The Bible says the Jews are black. Yes. That's, that's you, my brother. That's Jeremiah 14 and 2. Jeremiah 14 and 2. Take that home and read it. You understand? Read um, Je Je uh, Revelation 2 and 9. Because this is what happened. This is to show the hatred that the nations have against us. They changed our names and they claimed our nationality. Right. That's pure hatred, brother. They deceived us. Read. Revelation 2 verse 9, 
I know thy works and tribulation. The Bible says, God says he knows our works and tribulation. He knows what we're going through. You know, you saw what happened in the Euros, right? The three brothers, Mr. Goals, and how Britain, the Europeans, the English man and woman came against the black man. You saw that, right? Nothing new. But guess what? A lot of our people don't see it like how you see it. Can you break this down to me, though? Because this is what's getting my attention. Yes, sir. Yeah? You're telling me, mm -hmm. as a Jew, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Like, basically, as a West African. As a West African, yeah. I'm one of the tribes that's Jew. Really, Come on, yeah. yeah? So, are you according to this? Right. Is it like a thing where right. every yeah, race, because this is what it looks like. No, no, no. Where do you see, where do you see Europeans on here? Okay, so is that the only race? No, no, no. Where do you see Chinese on here? Where do you see Japanese on here? I see Indians, bro. American, Native American Indians. They're not, they're not, they're East Indians, they're separate people. East Indians are, are people, Native American Indians are different people. Those that were the original inhabitants of the land of America, separate. But watch, watch now, I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna get, these all one people. There was a divide and conquer situation. They divided us in slavery, brought you there. West Indians black, brought you there. Your, your, your Brazilians, brought you there. Yeah, understand, understand. I understand, we're gonna bring it out, read. Revelation 2 verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. So he knows that we're in a poor state as a nation, come on. But thou art rich. We are rich because the promise of the Bibles pertain to us. The Bible was given unto us, come on. And I know the blasphemy. The Bible says there's a blasphemy. Christ said, I know the blasphemy of what? Of them which say they are Jews. Those up in Stanford Hill, those that are up in Seven Sisters that are claiming to be Jewish and what? And are not. They are not the Jews. Because right. you just read the Jews are black. Yeah. According to the Bible. Come on. But are the synagogue of Satan. They are the head house of Satan. Yeah. That's what the Bible just is revealing. So let's, what do you have to say? What do you have to say? Right. A lot of the things that's going to be key to understanding this is on that flag. But before you go, I'm going to bring out what's on that flag so, so you can go home with a level of understanding on it. Get me Deuteronomy 20 verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 But it shall come to pass If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God To observe to do all his commandments And his statutes which I command thee this day That all these curses shall come upon thee And overtake thee So the Bible saying This is talking to the Israelites in the wilderness Moses He said if you don't keep those commandments Which he commanded us this day Certain curses will come upon us And overtake us Now verse 46 Verse 46 and they shall be upon thee for a sign. So these curses will be upon the Israelites for a sign. So when we look at the signs, guess what? We're going to find out who the Israelites are. Right. Let's see who these signs fit in this day today. Come on. And they shall be for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So those that heard it in the wilderness, their seed to this very day, well, these, these same signs will be following them. So let's, let's identify some of these signs to see. How the American blacks, the West Indian blacks, the Puerto Ricans, the Haitian, the Cubans, Dominicans, Native Americans, Guatemala, Panama, Panama are the Israelites according to the Bible. Right, let's right. see, let's see what the signs are. Verse 48. Hold that sign up real quick. Read. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. So, historically and up until this day, do we have to, did we have to, let's do it historically first. Did we have to serve another nation for food? More or less. We did. Here's the evidence. Read on. And in thirst, did you have to serve another nation for food, for, for water? Right? And in nakedness, for clothing as well. Because look, you got the what, the Ralph, Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren is not our people. But guess what, we have to serve them for clothing. Do you work? Do you work? That's what I'm saying, I don't Come on. No, don't. We are in the category, man. We, we are serving the nations for want of all things. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. Literally, no, literally, you are, bro. I'm telling you straight. No, don't put me in a place. I'm, I'm, I'm not serving no one else but God, bro. I don't serve. Are you, no are you, you serving God, yeah? Serve no one, bro. Uh, all praise. You say serve God, right? But God says this. This is who we serve today. This is what God said. Read that. And in nakedness, and in the and in want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. God says, our nation's gonna put a yoke of iron upon our neck. Remember, this is a sign. This is a sign. I want you to stay with us. A, a, a nation, a nation. We see the nation here. The, the Caucasian race. We see the nation here. Caucasian race. We see the nation here. The Arabs, right? We see the nation that done it. The Hamites, the Arabs, these are the ones, they're the ones that brought us into slavery. Do you understand? These are the nations that put the yokes of iron upon our necks. Until what? Until they, he have destroyed thee. Right. Until we no longer knew that we were the Israelites. Get me Psalms 83 and we're going to go back to Deuteronomy 2. Psalms 83, I'm going to show you what happened. The divide and conquer situation. This is what happened. They split us up, divided us into different lands, different languages, different religions. And guess what? Then they gave us a white image of Christ and said, that's your, that's your, that's your Jesus. Right. That's your master. That's their master. Yeah, we don't believe in that also. You understand? Because in the Bible, Jesus Christ is a black man. Oh, that's right. right. His people are black people. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which one is it again? The red one. This one? Yeah. The red one, isn't it? Yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Hmm? Yeah. Yesterday, you said it was the red. So the honest, listen, let me say something. American blacks, West, these are the people that came from Africa. These are the people that. Oh, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Give me Isaiah 11, 11. Isaiah 11, 11. Let me show you. Actually, before that, read Psalm 83. Let's just stay on top. That's what the whole world yeah. trying to tell me. I'm gonna show you. Go ahead. Black people. Our, our only struggle is basically the ones that the ones that have been taken and uprooted out of Africa. No, the struggle is still going on in so, Africa. So but yeah, they're, col they're colonizing the land this I'm, day. I'm here, they're I'm still here. taking the resources. I'm, I'm here, I'm here now. I understand the yeah. what's going on here. I want to know what's going on back home. I'm going to show you what's going on back home. Do that. Psalms 83 verse. Yeah. Let's get the uh, verse 3. Right. Book of Psalms chapter 83 verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come. And let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And we don't no longer know that we're Israel. They divided and changed our nationalities. They changed our nationalities and our names. That's why we no longer know. That's what the nations did. Now give me Isaiah 11 and 11. But you want to find out about those that are still in Africa. Let's find out about those that are still in Africa. Give me Isaiah 11 verse 11. The book of Isaiah chapter 11 verse 11. And it shall come to pass. In the day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. So the Lord said he's going to recover the remnant of his people, the children of Israel that are where? Come on. We shall left from Assyria. There's a remnant of God's people in Assyria. Come on. And from Egypt. They're still in Egypt, which is what? Africa. There's a remnant of God's people still over there in the continent of Africa. Come on. And from Papros. Papros. That's Egypt still. Come on. And from Cush. Kush, that's Ethiopia. So guess what? There's a remnant of God's people still there in Africa. Do you understand? But what's, guess what's happening? They're still suffering, suffering the same oppression. I'm going to show you that. Go ahead. And from Ila. That's East India. There's a, people, there's a remnant of our people in India. You think the slave ship only took us here and only took us to America? No. It took us to India as well. Mm. Come on. Hold on, bro. We're going to get to what's going on in Africa. And from China. And from Hammer. And from the islands of the sea. So that's going into the islands, the Caribbean islands. We'll scatter throughout. There's a remnant of God's people there. So now go back to Deuteronomy 28 and look at verse 33. Let's find out what's going on to our people still in the continent of Africa. Those in Nigeria, those in Ghana. Now, my my biggest ahead. thing, I don't think we really get, I'm not being straightforward. Go ahead, go ahead. As a West African, yeah. Yeah, I don't associate myself as just an African. Mm -hmm. I'm West African. Yeah. Like, my DNA is a little different. Mm. Yeah, that's so what I'm trying to say to you. It's like, I, I, it's all good and well. Yeah. Me, I'm not disputing that, yeah? But I'm saying, myself, I'm born in Nigeria, bro. Right. As a West African. Yeah. If this is not to be the case, this is this is God's time to, this yeah, is God's time to all I to do with you, bro. I don't this is this, no, bro. this happened to you. This, listen, listen the people in Nigeria, 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 the people in
The people in Nigeria went through these atrocities that we're showing you here. Like, I don't see nothing that indicates to me about West Africa. I'm showing you right now, just pay attention. Oh. I'm showing you, and like you said, um, you're West African, your features are built in from other Africa. Not all people in Africa are the same people. Oh, yeah. That's no, because right. we're all black, they're I, not all the I same people. Yeah. Right, right. The people that went for slave, slave your ships. So I just want to know. Just obviously, us. Because obviously I have yeah. people coming to me, yeah, especially the whole movie telling me, oh, we're this, like, yeah. like, like, just because I'm black, I have to be, I have to no. embrace everything that, that, that's happened to every other black person. I'm saying to you, I, I understand that, yeah. but I want to know exactly what my identity is. You're an Israelite like, according to the Bible. That's your identity. Yes. Read that. Read that. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 33. Read it up. The fruit of thy land. The fruit of the land of those in Nigeria. This is, remember, the curses of Deuteronomy 28 are a sign to identify the children of Israel. Do you understand? So this is what's going on current day, from slavery into current day. The resources of those places in Africa are still being taken. The West Coast, we want to deal with the West Coast, it still happens to this day. Come on. All right. And all thy labors. Because the people of Nigeria are the ones doing the work. But guess what? The Europeans, the Chinese, they're the ones that are reaping the benefit of these things. Come on. Shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. They're reaping the benefits. They're reaping the benefits of the land in Nigeria. The people of Nigeria are poor, poverty, but the people of the Europeans who, who conquered that land, they are taking the resources. They're reaping the benefit. Read. And thou shalt be only oppressed. What's going on in Nigeria? And thou shalt be only oppressed. There's much oppression going on in Nigeria. Right. Do you understand? Nigerians are built, there's much oppression going on in Nigeria. Read. And crush always. And that's what's going on this very day, brother. And remember, these are signs to show the children of Israel this day. These are signs, bro. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.